Today is a big day. My Mate 20X Huawei just came in the mail. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. This is going to be one of my first real unboxing videos that I'm going to try and do on my channel. And I want y'all to post in the comments if there's any products that you want to see me review, unbox, talk about, because I want to do some videos like this more often on the channel, man, because I like bringing y'all tech products. And plus, this is going to be possibly going to be my new daily phone. So let's get into it. I ordered an unboxing knife, a nice gold joint. But until that comes, we're going to be using a nice pair of scissors. This is going to be my first phone that's not an iPhone. Let's look at it, man. Let's look at it. Oh man, look at this screen, bruh. The size of this phone is like perfect, man. Man, this is like, it's crazy because it feels like an iPhone. It almost feels thinner than an iPhone. It's got that blue color. You know this blue and this black almost reminds me of the iPhone 5. Kind of resembles that to me. It's a little bit bluer, but it kind of gives you that same vibe. This is gonna be my first phone I've ever had, man. It's got the OLED. What else we get in the box? Let's do the, let's do the whole unboxing thing, man. We got these little stickers. I have no idea what that's for. We get the SIM ejection tool. Oh yeah, I forgot, they give you a case. With these other brands and stuff, they give you a clear case, which is kind of cool. We get the fast charger, the USB, some little wired headphones. I heard this phone can charge in like an hour, fully charged or something crazy like that. Just for a size comparison, this is the Mate 20. That's my iPhone 7 Plus. I mean, that's crazy, man. That's almost the same difference from the iPhone Plus to the little iPhone. And I gotta see if I can make the Huawei look like my iPhone. And this jailbreak got my iPhone looking super official right now. And this is looking like a baby phone. And by baby phone, I mean the big colorful icons and all of that. I hate that, man. I mean, just look at the screen though, man. Like this phone makes my iPhone look like the iPhone 3G. I mean, it's like holding a magazine in your hands going through Instagram. Mostly if you follow some nice stuff like me, man, like, like it's just a good look, man. Like look at that, it look like a magazine. Tomorrow, I'll pick it up right on this video, spend all night with it, really test it out, see how it feels, see how it is, and see if it's worth $800, or I'll go back to my jailbroken iPhone 7 Plus and just wait it out until probably 2020 when Apple redesigns the iPhone. I feel like even the iPhone 10, like it feels exactly like this phone. It's just got a little bit bigger of a screen. It's nothing that really excites me about getting it. I was more excited about this just because it's so much bigger. But I'm gonna come right back for y'all. It's gonna be like two seconds. All right, it's been two days man since I filmed the beginning of this video my unboxing knife came in the mail it's pretty fly it's got some Final Fantasy action going I think I'm gonna play the theme song every time I use it it's clean man definitely clean this one will use to unbox all my new stuff but all of that's beside the point y'all want to know how did I like the Huawei is it better than my iPhone and what are the differences it might be kind of long hopefully it's not too long but we're gonna get into it this is what the Huawei is looking like man this is what I did to it you see this I was able to customize and do this phone just like I always said I wanted to make it look official I gotta give Android a hundred thousand percent on customization on these phones I had like I told y'all before I never had an Android phone before I've been rocking with iOS since iPhone 1 uh, 2007 this phone being this customizable has been the best thing ever YouTube snapchat Instagram Chrome Amazon my home my smart home stuff ring uh, thermostat the Nova launcher Alexa text messaging camera photos this little Google bar and then Apple music and using this phone man I had it I've been using it for about two three days just my main phone I put my sim card in it and I was rocking with it number one pro on this phone is the screen size if you want a big phone and you don't want any other phone you just want a big phone this is the phone I can't stress to y'all how beautiful it is having a phone this big when you looking at you know home decor and fly honeys on Instagram this is what you want is beautiful man like really so if you want a big phone this is the phone for you 100% YouTube snapchat and I gotta tell you man if you download the snapchat alpha go to Bermuda Islands you download the alpha snapchat runs on here just as well as it runs on my iPhone and I know that was that's been something that you know people say all the time snapchat looks worse snapchat looks just as good on this phone as it does on my iPhone when you get the alpha for snapchat so if you got an Android phone and your snapchat looks crappy you know open snapchat go to the map view type in Bermuda 
and then Snapchat Alpha will come up. You download that and your Snapchat will look amazing. So I can't even complain about Snapchat. Instagram looks amazing. I did notice that the quality when you upload a picture on an Android versus when you upload on iOS, the quality is a little bit less, but you only notice it when you zoom in on the picture. Not really something major, not really a con at all. The next thing that I loved about this phone was the speakers, man. The sound on this phone is almost like a Bluetooth speaker. And I'm not even lying, man. Like we can go to what I played that really blew my mind was this Ariana Grande. I mean, it sounds like it's around my head. It's insane, man. I don't know, you probably can't hear it through the camera. Hopefully you can get the surround sound. It's like I got two phones on each side of my head listening to the same song. I don't know if y'all have ever done that before with your friends, slunk up the phone and put them on both sides of your head and it sounds amazing. That's what this sounds like by itself. But I have it on uh, Dolby Atmos and I got it on the movie setting. So it's a little bit more airy and surround sound. But if you wanted a little more bass, you could put it on music, you could adjust it. The sound on this phone is absolutely amazing man i love it and look at the screen size too by the way i mean it's just so it's just so lovely man i can't even <laughs> i can't even complain it's this phone no competition in sound even though we're not really competing with this phone i'm just using it as an example because this is my main phone by the way check out the case look at the case that's that's the only fit for a king so yeah that's another plus was the sound quality is insane on this phone i don't think i've ever heard a phone this loud and this is competing with the iphone xs max you know because uh mary bro rob harris both of them have iphone xs maxes and i tested that with both of their phones and this phone still just blew their phone out the water so i'm thinking this might be the best sounding phone that I've ever heard but that's not saying a lot because I haven't heard all like the LGs and all of that but the next thing is camera now the camera quality camera quality on this phone is really amazing you can hit it go in deep it's still clean and then go out wide same angle now you saw me take three pictures this is one this is another one. I mean, look at that. Look at the detail in that, man. That's that telephoto lens. It's crazy on this phone. And then this is the normal. What you see, the normal is beautiful, man. I might just put these on the screen just so y'all get an idea how they really look. The camera on here is amazing, bro. I do not like the camera, uh, the photo app and all of that. That's We'll get into that in a minute. And the fact that you can get wide angle, 1X, and then go all the way up to like 10X, but it's clear, clear. So the camera on here is amazing. And another thing I noticed that is a negative about the camera is that if you're taking a picture, say in a house, you know, you got house lighting or whatever, the pictures can look a little smutty, like a little smudgy, almost like it's painted. It almost does too much smoothing to make the picture look good. And it makes it look like it's not even real. When you're taking pictures outside in the daytime, insane. Now nighttime video is really kind of bad. Like nighttime video, the stabilization is kind of off. So it, it looks kind of like a, you know, it looks kind of like an Android phone. iPhones handle stabilization better. Even though the picture might not be as good, they handle the stabilization of the picture and the video better, in my opinion. But the camera is still amazing. You saw it just now. When you're taking pictures like that, you got a lot of versatility with the camera on here, which you don't have on any other phone. Another positive, man. Oh, before I even get into that, I wanted to show y'all my home screen. So basically, I got Google Ass Assistant right here, which I never had Google Assistant before. So to have this on a phone is amazing. I didn't know how quick it was look how quick this is for all my iPhone people look at this 54 gallon aquarium here is information about the Aquion 54 gallon aquarium ensemble size 54 gal black pine saltwater I mean it's crazy man just to be able to just click a button and say something like that is insane also you can click the button and type something and then you can click this button here to open up the app drawer uh, it's all one piece. It's all one Google bar. As you can see here, you know, I could change it to whatever, but I don't like these as much as I like this one. I think this one gives me the most for that. Also, this one, man, this, this right here, this is Alexa. Watch this. Set the house temperature to 72. The heat set to 72. The heat set to 72. I mean, just having that one button, one tap, and I'm able to talk to her is amazing. To do that on iPhone, I'd have to go to the Alexa app, open it up, wait, which takes long enough in itself, then click it, set the house temperature to 70. 
it's just easier to have it on the home screen. And I love that about this phone that you can have widgets. I was gonna have a whole page of widgets, but having everything right on one screen was just the best for me personally. I just love that. Now something that nobody that I know knows about, now y'all might know if you tech people, but this phone has an IR blaster, man. An IR blaster is what you use to control the TV. And this works flawlessly, man. I mean, absolutely flawlessly. I can take this, control my TV's volume, turn it on and off, do all of that right from this phone. You see the IR blaster is right there. That's the IR blaster. Let's see if it, you can see it. See that? Just like a remote, man, right in your phone. Now, honestly, this is something that most people don't won't, you know, really care about. But to have this on your phone, you don't ever have to need a remote. If you out and you want to change the TV station somewhere, you can do it with this phone. And I think that's really cool that they add that in here. And mostly, it doesn't even take up that much space. It would be cool if all phones did that, just because. Another positive, the design quality. Quality of this phone is amazing. It's very premium. I mean, Huawei really impressed me with this phone, man. I never had heard of Huawei before until I started looking into this phone and really seeing, you know, that they, they're number two in the world for mobile uh, manufacturers. I didn't know that either. They're above Apple. It's Samsung number one, Huawei number two, and then uh, Apple's number three. You can feel it, man. I mean, the metal feels great. The glass back with the with the little etch-a-sketch sound, <laughs> you know, vinyl sound. It just, it's a premium phone. It feels like a premium phone. It really feels like it would be an iPhone. It really feels good. It's got a nice heaviness to it but it's not heavy people always say this phone is so big it's hard to you know control listen man if you think about buying this phone do not listen to these little weenie tech people on youtube about this phone is too big this phone is not too big bro you see me this whole video moving around with this phone with one hand yeah you got your youtube that's my highest app boom you got snapchat i mean you know organize your apps where you can reach your apps don't put apps way up here. As far as using this phone, this phone is not too big, man. I don't know, some of these little boys on here got these little tiny hands. I don't know what the hell's going on, but this phone is not too big for people to use. You know, you wanna get the top, slide up, boom. Get the top shade, slide back up. It's not that hard, man. And if you really wanna have mobility with it, throw a pop socket on here and you'll easily be able to adjust and move around perfectly fine don't listen to people that say this phone is too big because it's not too big but for size comparison which this iphone 7 plus this might be big for some people but i love this phone and it really doesn't look that big in my hands either i guess you know i got decent sized hands but i've seen like the iphone 7 in a girl's hands and it just looks so much bigger in their hands i love to see like big phones with girls hands because they just make the phone look even bigger but this phone probably look like a tablet in a girl's hands another positive man is the battery life the battery life on this phone i'm a heavy user of instagram youtube media cameras all of this and i did not have to charge this phone and i used it the entire day i didn't have to charge it not one time and if you do have to charge it let me tell you the fast charger that came with this phone will have your phone charged in 30 minutes. I mean, it's crazy how fast that fast charger is, man. Insane. So the battery life on here is insane. I think it's got like a 5,000 milliamp battery. It's gonna last you all day, literally, man. I think you could be playing Fortnite all day and it'll last you all day. Customization, I already went over that. Customization is not my number one thing. I love being able to customize your phone. Another thing that I liked about this phone that, you know, just came with the phone, maybe Android in general, is the fact that you can be, and there's Jesse, look at Jesse, man. I might do a video on him. Say you watching a video, say I wanna watch, uh, say I'm watching Ali A, I say, you know, I wanna go on Instagram, boom. It automatically puts this in a little box. Now this is something that I've been thinking that Apple was gonna do for the longest, they never did it. You could have picture in picture without YouTube Premium, without any of those extra, you know, extra fees, it just automatically throws it in a little box. You can go over here to Instagram, you can go over here to Google, search the web. I was looking at this hoodie that Burberry put out crazy but yeah man you could do all kind of stuff while the video down there is still playing and i just i love that man you could be shopping on amazon perfect it's just really cool to be able to have picture in picture and not be tied down to just a youtube app and now let's get into the negatives man let's get into the negatives of why i probably won't be able to keep this as my main phone for daily use number one is android that's my number one i can't 
keep this phone. This is gonna be probably a war in the comments if this video goes, you know, get some views on it, of which is better, iPhone and Android. But I'm telling you right now, from somebody that's been on iPhone since the very beginning, Android is cool. It's a great operating system. I love the fact that you got the customization and you got all of that. But when it comes to stuff like text messages, Oh my God, bruh. I'm used to iMessage, right? So when I got over here to text messages, I'm like, okay, I don't use text messaging that much anyway. I don't text that many people. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Well, let me tell you, bruh, it's a huge deal. You see right here, actual trash. When you send a picture through this messenger, it comes out looking like flip phone quality. It said poor picture quality, picture quality, poor AF, trash, looks blurry, actual trash. I'm gonna show you a video that she sent me. This is a video she sent me from an iPhone X Max. Do you see the quality on this, bruh? You can't even read that says good morning. I mean, this is actual trash. Now, I don't know if there's other apps you can use to message people. I don't know about any of that. I'm, you know, like I said, this is my first time on Android, but the messaging app on this phone is actual garbage. <clears throat> that might seem a little harsh, but it is trash. If you ever use that message and you go to Android, use Snapchat or use Instagram to send pictures. Now she, she sent me the same video on Instagram. This is the same video. And that's through Instagram. That's the video you just saw. And even when I sent this picture on Instagram that I was telling you about, that was grainy, kind of blurry. This one was the same ones, blurry not good quality and it's weird man i don't know what they do with the software i don't know if it's android i don't know if it's huawei but the picture comes out like garbage whatever you send the picture at it comes out like garbage and i just don't understand why man i really don't so the messaging app is 100 percent my one of the biggest downfalls little things like on instagram when you're when you're scrolling i'm an instagram connoisseur so when i'm on instagram and i'm clicking something i see something i like boom and then i scroll back there's no scroll back. You have to hit the edge of the phone. Even then it ain't. You gotta hit the edge of the phone right <laughs> to scroll back. Now that was that was a little exaggerated. It's usually not that bad. You just gotta hit the edge of the phone. So it's boom, 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 like that. It's not that big of a deal, but when you're scrolling with one hand, you can't reach the edge of this phone. So it's hard to get all the way over there. This is of course this big 7.2 inch phone problem. This is really looking stupid today. But yeah, it's usually not that big of a deal. And what I found out is you definitely can use like a nav navigation dock and you can put the little ball on the screen. So when you click something, you can hit that, click it, boom, boom, boom. Cause it's really not about the phone being slow cause the phone is not slow whatsoever. It's just the software isn't as smooth as iOS. And now I just grab my iPhone here. You see, you click something, you swipe back. I can swipe back all the way over here and it's still going backwards. It doesn't matter. And that kind of stuff is another reason. That's another con with this phone. It's just the gestures and like some apps and stuff like that, they just aren't as good as iPhone. Not a big deal. I wouldn't really complain about that, but since I'm doing a full breakdown video, that was one of the things that I didn't like is, you know, Instagram swiping. All right, so like even something like the picture app, like I'm used to on iPhone, you just swipe down and it'll take you right back to the thing. But on here, you have to swipe from the edge to go back. And I know why they do it like that, because it's really like, it's imitating the back button on Android but the back button on Android is not something that I want to use. So I want that iOS experience where I can swipe down, swipe over from the middle of the screen and the phone knows what I want to do. If I click something, like say I click this, I swipe down, boom. Click this, swipe down. That's a beautiful phone case, by the way. Zoom out, scroll down, click this, go there, play this, boom, go back. It's just easy, man. It's easy to get around on this phone, way more than it is on the Huawei. And that's not saying that this phone is unbearable. It's just a lot getting used to coming from an iPhone for so long. The things that I used to take for granted, I guess, on the iPhone, you really stop taking for granted when you get an Android phone, because it's like, wow, this really works differently. Now, upside to this, I know you can go to the Play Store, you can download different gallery apps you can download different keyboards this is again one of the positives to Android like this keyboard that's a Google keyboard you can change that everything on this phone you can change pretty much if you don't like the messaging app you can use a different messenger you go to your Nova launcher you can set all these different things to whatever you want you can set the phone the dialer the messaging app to whatever you want the camera app the gallery app the music the email the browser I mean you could change this stuff to whatever you want it to be to open up 
So if you don't like the normal software, you can always change it. And I think that's the part of Android that I'm not quite there yet understanding how to make it perfect. And people might, you know, say, why don't you download this? Why don't you download that? You know, I might if I keep this phone. But out the box, couple days with the phone, coming from iPhone for this long, this is not competing with the iPhone and those things. And then two other downsides to the phone, and that is no waterproofing. I shouldn't say that. The waterproof is splashed. I think it's IP50 something. It's not good waterproof, and I wouldn't be confident to take this in the shower or take this outside when it's raining, just because it's really not IP68 or IP67, which would give you that waterproof, you know, if you actually drop it in water. This phone doesn't have that. That's not really a big deal for me, but it is a slight downside. That wouldn't make me keep or get rid of this phone either way, because it's like, that's not a big deal. And another thing that some people might care about, which I don't because I've never had it, was wireless charging. I never used the wireless charging because I had the iPhone 7 Plus, and I don't think I really would because usually when I want to charge my phone, I want it to charge up quick so I can get on my way. I don't want to sit there and just wait on it to charge in a wireless charger. I'd much rather use a fast charger to charge the phone. So I don't think wireless charge is even something I would even care about. Those have been the pros and cons to having the Huawei Mate 20X over the iPhone 7 Plus. At the end of this video, I told you I would tell you if I'm gonna keep the Huawei and make this my main phone, or I'm gonna go back to my iPhone 7 Plus and rock with the iPhone until Apple, you know, starts innovating some kind of way and makes a phone that's worth upgrading to. And I hate to say it, I really do, man, because I love the screen on this Huawei, but I gotta go back with my iPhone 7 Plus just with ease of use, just with the easeability of the iPhone for my day-to-day -day life. Jailbroken iPhone, in my opinion, beat out the Huawei and the Android and all of that system. Even though the customization is way better over here, even with the jailbreak. See, it's very gorgeous to me, but even though this is better with customization, man, and it really is, I mean, just, just check this out. Go to edit, click the app icon. You can change this to whatever you want. You want a different icon? Look at all these icons you got. You can pick from all of these icons, man. If you want to change this icon, this app icon or this, you can change it to that. You want to go back? You want more colorful apps? Go to built-in. They got all the built-in icons you can change stuff to. You can turn the labels off. You can make them bigger. You can make them dark versus light. You go in here, you click the clock. You can go in here and change everything about this and make it look the way you want it to look. Just stuff like that, man. It's just unbeatable in customization. And I love that because I love customizing my phone. But with that being said, the jailbreak on the iPhone you can do pretty much the same thing, but you gotta go through Cydia and you gotta sort through a lot of garbage where this phone is already pretty much built in. You go to the Play Store, you download some themes. I don't know if it's gonna ever come true, but I'm really hoping that iPhone comes out with a theme store in the App Store where you can download themes to your phone. Now, will they do it? I don't know, but I hope they do because that's one thing about the iPhone that is so bad to me is that bland, baby-looking iPhone, iOS look to their software. I hate that. As you can tell, I talk about it all the time. But just ease of use, man, day-to-day -day usage, man, Snapchat, Instagram, everything is just more fluent on the iPhone. And this is the older iPhone. I can't say that this phone is a good replacement for an iPhone. I wouldn't replace my iPhone with this, even though I would love to, because look at the screen. I just really hope iPhone makes a bigger phone. I hope Apple makes a bigger iPhone. I really do. I don't know, man. This has been my little review. If you like these type of videos, I'll be doing more of them. I want y'all to post in the comments and let me know what you think is better, Android or Apple. And I want you to post in the comments, how did you like this review and any other products you want me to review? And in the future, we can review them together, man. We could break them down just like this in a longer video, or I can make them quick you know unboxing videos like i just did with this light bulb and we can see how that's working man but i really do like this phone shout out to huawei they are making top notch quality phones and if you're on android now this i'll give a disclaimer if you're used to android already know all the software you like you know the messaging app you like you into that system this phone would be a 10 out of 10 i'd say a 9 out of 10 just because of the couple cons with the waterproofing and the wireless charge this phone would be a 10 out of 10 if it had waterproof wireless charge if they put ip68 on here and they made this phone have wireless charging this phone would be a 10 out of 10 in my book all day long there is no reason this phone wouldn't be a 10 out of 10 if you are used to android the build quality is there the bezels are extremely small i love i just love everything about this phone i don't care for the samsung curved over displays i like that this is very flat 
on, on the edges, you know what I mean? You get that flat edge. The little notch up here, extremely small. You don't even notice it. A lot of times I'll pick a wallpaper and it'll be like hair or something up there, so you don't even notice it. You definitely don't notice it in apps. It's so small and out the way. Chin on it is extremely small. 10 out of 10, man far as the phone itself. Definitely check out the Huawei Mate 20X because far as screen size, quality, speed, I was playing Fortnite on this the other day. Fortnite runs amazing. No hiccups on Fortnite. This phone is extremely fast. Another positive before we leave is I was on Snapchat video chat, right? Now, I don't know if y'all know, Snapchat video chat is extremely taxing on your phone. It will make your phone get so hot when you video chat on Snapchat with filters on your face. This phone, I was on Snapchat video chatting for about a half an hour, 45 minutes with a filter on my face and this phone didn't even get hot and I think it's got a cooling system in it so the phone doesn't even get hot man it, it can handle anything you throw at it if you're thinking about getting a new phone and you already used to Android and all the hiccups with Android that I don't like but you might be used to this is your phone all day long I would pick this over the Samsung's now the new Samsung's they of course look nice but they're not this big I'm a screen size person I love a big screen and as you can see here I mean this is Fortnite man this is how you want to play games on the phone. This is it, Chief. This is it. By the way, I'm gonna do a locker showcase coming soon, and I built a house in Fortnite creative mode, and it is so dope. I gotta show y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing love on all the videos, man. I hope y'all like this review. Uh, the iPhone 7 versus the Huawei, AKA my first Android phone ever, AKA the biggest screen phone I've ever had, AKA please Apple, make a phone this damn big. And I'll see y'all next time, man. Make sure you post in the comments anything you want me to review, any tech you want me to review, I'll review it just like I did this in depth. All all the little petty stuff that most people don't care about, I do care about. So thanks for watching everybody. Peace. If I wait long enough, then when I do update, it might be like a year or something, right? Okay. They drop a new iOS and it's like I got a whole new phone. If y'all would actually give us a new phone and make it a new phone, then I wouldn't have to pretend like I'm getting a new phone and not getting a new phone. Let me see you, girl.